it's Anita, and I'm finally ready to set my dining room table. But first, I must wash the glasses that I purchased from Z Gallery that I got at a really good price. Um, they were 60% off, so they were $14.95 originally. But I got them at their going out of business sale um, for 60%, yeah, it was 60% off. So I'm going to clean these up and then we're going to get started setting the table. They're all clean and ready to be placed. Don't they look so pretty? I absolutely love these glasses. I'm really not sure if these placemats match the table napkins that I've purchased. So I'm going to see if I have some different colored ones that would match a little bit better. I'm so happy I did have the apple colored green placement, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to clean off the table, but first let me introduce you all to my little puppy Mason. I absolutely adore him. He's such a Velcro puppy, so he's going to be helping me throughout today. <laughs> I like to use air in a can to get between the crease that's around the whole perimeter of this table, um, between the wood and the marble. It's particles that falls in between there, so I like to clean it out really good with that because get, using the rag doesn't get it clean enough, so I like to use the air in the can. And then to clean the surface of the wood, I use a multi-cleaner from Grove Collective and I absolutely love it. I use it on most of my surfaces on the furniture in my household. I'm going to start by placing the placemats on the table first. I do like a layering effect, but um, as you'll see if you stay tuned to the very end, um, I did decide to add an extra charger to this setting. So it looks really pretty in the very end, so stay tuned. Hey you guys, my newfound love is ginger jars. This one was absolutely beautiful and I couldn't leave it on the shelf because you know at Home Goods, if you don't buy it when you see it, then it will be gone. So I just couldn't let this treasure sit there. Look at this, isn't it absolutely beautiful? I'm going to look around the house maybe to see if I can find a couple more things that go on the table. In the meantime, I'm going to show you exactly how I set the table. Here's the placemat that I put on first. Um, it's the apple color green. I absolutely love that. And then I placed the charger. I didn't have that on my last picture, but 
Um, this is a charger that I added to the place setting. And I also, I got that from, I believe it was Michael's. This plate here, believe it or not, came from Dollar Tree. You all know I love good finds at Dollar Tree. So, and I bought these uh, napkin holders at the gallery when they were going out of business. I think I paid maybe like a dollar fifty. Um, these napkins, I believe I purchased them at Marshall's. No, you know what? I got those at Home Goods. I do. I just remembered. I did purchase those green napkins at Home Goods. And of course, I walked around the house and I had um, a vase of apples. So I snatched them up and I put an apple at every setting. These wonderful gold um, flatware came from my husband's grandmother. She gave it to us as a wedding gift years ago. We'll be married 31 years in September. So they are such a wonderful heirloom that she gave us. And these glasses, again, I got those from the gallery. So this is the whole setting, you guys. Who knows, I may add something else, but I don't think I'm gonna do too much changing out for Christmas. Um, you all can believe that if, <laughs> if you want to, but I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna do too much. I just may add a little Christmas touch here and there. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.